Yeah. Okay. This one's about the president, President Obama. I'm putting this one out there because you used to have talks my aunt about this. She didn't like everything he was doing. So my, this blog is titled, Getting What You Ask For. I told you so. Because I told you so. I told her, I said, look, Obama is working with everybody in the beginning. And I said, and you know, it's going to come a point when if they don't work with him, he's going to do what the fuck he want to do. And now people are upset about, you know, the, the appointment, the appointing some cat and, and um, the, the little extension of the Patriot Act with the military being able to arrest people. We feel as terrorists and some other things he's doing. Here's my thing. I don't agree with everything he does. No, I haven't agreed with everything any, any president's done, done since I've been living. You know, I read up on some of the ones in the past. I ain't agree with everything they did either. But here's the thing. If you're going to be mad at Obama for the things he's doing right now, you got every right to be mad. Because you know somebody can use some of this shit, twist it up, and fuck your life up with it. But, you got to say this. He tried to work with the Democrats, right? When he first got in, didn't work out. Been trying to work with the Republicans, never works out. So if he say fuck them all, and just do him, can't say he never tried in the beginning. Like, it had been different. You know, everybody wanted him to, uh, to just say fuck everybody from jump. But he didn't do that. He actually did it in the proper way. You know, he said, hey, look, I'm, you know, Democrats, we got the House, we got the Senate, let's work together, let's get some things done, let's combine ourselves as a country, get ourselves out of this hole. Democrats was talking that we want change. Yes, we can. Till he said, okay, let's change some things. Uh, I was just playing. I was I didn't mean I didn't mean that. I was I look good on camera, so I just I wanted to show up and look good. Republicans Let's be real. I, I'm going to say it. Republicans are like, we're not taking no, no shit, no rules and regulations from no nigger. That's what they saying. You fucking know it, I fucking know it. If you white, you know it, then I know it. If you ain't white, you know it, and I know it. If you ain't either one of anything, you still know it, and I still know it. So he tried. Do I agree with everything he's done? No. But I can say this, he did extend the olive branch and try to work with everybody in that facility. Nobody wanted to work with him. And this is where it gets me. Even though he ain't the best. Ain't it funny, and I don't, we just scratched the fact out that he black, because, you know, we all know the bullshit that goes with that. He reminds me of Jimmy Carter. Let me tell you why, for anybody who knows anything about politics or history. Jimmy Carter had ideas that are very valid, very relevant, very, um, before his time, that, was, that they used foresight. The country wasn't feeling Jimmy Carter just because they wasn't feeling him. Just, you know, you just ain't the, you're the president, but you just ain't the kind of guy that I just, something about you is just I don't like, basically. Prime example, Jimmy Carter wanted solar energy. Jimmy Carter was the first to initiate wanting green energy. He made the White House run with solar power. He wanted us to get off of gas and use ethanol then. But it just, just he was un-American for that. That was just whack. Okay. Now he was a bad president because of that. Because he and he read everything that crossed his desk and he knew when people was fucking him over and he wasn't having it. Now that him, you know, that that's true. So he was a bad president. They spent it that he wasn't nothing. 
years and years and decades go by of Jimmy Carter, he ain't shit. All of a sudden, you're looking back at it, people are like, you know what? He was a smart, he was one of the smartest presidents we had. We as a country was the dumbest. Now, the reason I say that with Obama is this. The economy is failing. The economy was failing when he got in office. I'm not even going to put the Bush thing, blah, blah, blah. Forget all that. The economy was failing before we got in office. So one of the smartest things he enacted, even though people didn't like the whole concept of it, was this health care plan. Why? Because if the country's in debt, just like if you as a person are in debt, at a certain number, people going to say, fuck giving you chances. Give me my money or, or I'm taking shit. Something's going to have to give. In those situations, people get stressed out, sick, overworked, tired. You might find yourself in the hospital. You get what I'm saying? So that health care was to save your ass so you could still work for what you still believe in. But that's not good enough. But see how this, uh, how the trillion of dollars keep ticking up, and ticking up, and ticking up, and ticking up, and we got a debt ceiling six months, and then six months we got another debt ceiling, and the credit rating went from triple A to double A, and and it just keeps going up. We keep fucking around and just spending money and spending money and spending money, and then they mad because he cut the fence. Really? So we should have cut the fence a long time ago. We should stop helping all these fucking countries. They don't hurt. I'm, it's real talk. None of these countries help America. Think about it. Think, think about all this peacekeeping slash imperialism this country's doing. How many of these fucking countries help us? Think about that. I'm, I'm, think about it like this. When Katrina hit, Americans was flying supplies to Americans. Did Great Britain fly over fucking seas? Did, uh, did, uh, did Brazil fly and give us rice? Did, did Africa fly and give us yams or some shit? No. Did Australia fly and give us fish and shrimp? No. None of that shit happened. But every time some shit go down in one of them countries, we got to fly here. We're going to help you. We're going to give you a million dollars aid. Did, matter of fact, did Israel come here? No. So, let's be real. You know what I'm saying? Is he the perfect president? No. Is he still better than most of the candidates? Yeah. Is people still mad because he's black? Well, that ain't going to change. I mean, sorry. I mean, do I want him to have a second term? It would help. Is it going to happen? I don't know. Because uh, if he got a second term, then he just straight up just gangster that shit. I ain't going to lie. Because he'd be like, look, I worked four years trying to work with you motherfuckers. Y'all ain't shit. Then I started doing my thing, and then y'all complaining. They going to complain. No matter what he do, just like no matter what any president did, they going to complain. The, the bottom line about President Obama is this. And I said this a long time ago, and I said this to, to my family, friends, people of all races. This country was in the hole terribly. You can't, the last thing that they want, and this, and this is how most pe black people know this, when white people fuck up something so bad, they give it to a black person to fix. That's how I became president. That's how you should, that's how, that's how fucked up y'all knew the country was. Y'all should have, and all you white people who just on the races and prejudice shit, y'all should have figured that out. Y'all do that shit all the time. Y'all know y'all do. The business is failing, give it to the nigger. Because if it goes down, we can blame it on him. Or if it goes up, it's a miracle. They got that black magic in them. You know? And on the flip side of that, do they really want him to be successful? No, because the things he was doing was, was making this country successful or making the people in this country work harder and better and smarter to generate money. You don't... Think about it. If, if he got this country to where Bill Clinton financially left it, He'd be the best president ever. And they'd be mad. So fucking mad. You know, so come on now. One black dude <laughs> is the best out of 40-something presidents. 
that's white that we counted. Not counting the first ones that we didn't count before we started counting. You get what I'm saying? So, yeah, man. I don't agree with everything you do. But really, he tried to work with people. But that didn't work. So, fuck it, BG. Just wanted to step. That's gangster.